My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days to Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 88 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at differentiation. Differentiation. Differentiation is a branch of mathematics that studies the rate of change of a function. Function actually relates input to output. Yeah, function of s is equals s squared. This is the function. S is the input, and s squared is the result or output. To find the slope or rate of change of a function, we differentiate. And I told you that differentiation and integration are words and opposites. If your dad is not at home, you scatter everything, just everything to play, books everywhere, you scatter everything. Then you hear a horn, ping ping, that is coming up. Now, you try to arrange everything, put everything together, arrange, 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 arrange. So, you differentiated. To get back what you differentiated, you try to what? Integrate. But the issue with integration is that sometimes trying to integrate or get back what you scattered or get back what you differentiated, some things will be lost. You cannot get everything back. There are two methods of differentiation. You have differentiation from the first principle or direct differentiation and using differentiation techniques. Differentiation from first principle actually shows the ratio of change in quantities. For direct differentiation and differentiation methods, you apply the differentiation rule straight without going through the long process. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a jam class and it is not to impress you or to go out of point. No, I try as much as possible to restrict this jam series to the things that jam expects you to do and other things you may need for your personal consumption. If you want to know every other thing or read out of point, you are now preparing for school exam. Of course, the Flash Learners YouTube channel is divided, mathematics aspect is divided into two. You will see the normal mathematics playlist and you will see the jam mathematics. The jam mathematics concerns only jam. Why the main mathematics playlist is for everything you need to know in mathematics. Below jam, jam, and above jam. So, you choose what you want. We shall not be doing first principles. Nobody cares. Jam will not say differentiate using first principle. No. Jam will simply say differentiate. Any method you use is your business. Just like quadratic equation. Jam will not say solve this quadratic equation using a formula or a factorization. No. Any method you choose is your business. Just like simultaneous equation. Jan will not say solve the simultaneous equation using elimination method. They don't care about your method. It is objective. So anyone that is convenient to use. So first principle is now looking at differentiation there are about five differentiation techniques. They are differentiation of sums and difference, higher derivatives, product rule, composite function, also referred to as function of function, and quotient rule. In this episode, the next are many other episodes that shall be treating differentiation and integration. I shall not be doing anything to impress you, or I shall not be doing it the normal way you are used to or the way you are taught. No, I will just teach you the direct rule, the step, practical aspects, no laws or grammar or all this. No. If 
I say this is two. Differentiate two. When you differentiate any constant, you will get zero. So differentiation of constant is zero. If I give you any constant, 100, 200, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1 million. So long the number is standing below, once you differentiate it, you will get zero. If I give you a letter, like S, A, B, C, so long the letter or the variable is standing alone, once you differentiate this, you are going to get 1. So when you differentiate S, you will get 1. If I give you exponential function, this is what you do. If I give you S squared and I say differentiate, you simply use the power to multiply the function and you subtract 1 from the power. You get something like this. 2 times s is 2s. 1 from the power is 1. So this is the same thing as 2s. If I give you s raised to the power of 3 and I say differentiate or find the y the s the differentiation of y with respect to s you simply say 3 times s is 3s 1 from 3 is 2 3s squared you've differentiated how about I say differentiate 2s raised to the power of 4 the rule still doesn't change if I say differentiate this guy it will be 4 times here, that is 4 times 2, 8, 8 is 1 from 4, 3 remains. It does not change. If I give you 5 is, and I say differentiate, s standing alone, you agree with me that this is the same thing as s raised to the power of 1. True or true? True. If this is the same as this. Following our normal method, you get 1 times 5 is 5, then s raised to the power of 1 minus 1, because we subtract 1 from the power. 1 minus 1 is 0, so this will give you 5s raised to the power of 0. What is s raised to the power of 0? It is 1. s, or any meaningful number, raised to the power of 0 will give you 1. So this is 5 times 1, 5. From this, we can see that if I give you 6s to differentiate, the answer is 6. If I give you 10s and I say differentiate, the result is 10. 1000s and I say you should differentiate, the result is 1000. 1 million s and I say you should differentiate, the result is 1 million. Now, what if I say differentiate 1 over s? By now, uh, from your knowledge of indices, you should know that 1 over s is the same thing as s raised to the power of minus 1. If you didn't know this before, know this now. This is s raised to the power of minus 1. What is s raised to the power of minus 1? Minus 1 is the power. So, using the power to multiply, we get minus 1 s minus 1 minus 1. We subtract 1 from the power. And this will give you minus s raised to the power of minus 2. That is basically it. You can choose to convert this guy back to this form. If you are converting this guy back to this form, raised to the power of minus means 1 over. So this is equals 1 over minus s squared. Or something like that, or minus 1 over s squared. That is your answer. Ladies and gentlemen, 
apart from these basic functions, Jam expects you to know basic trigonometric function. If I give you cos, let me start with sine. If I give you sin s, sin s, and I say find dy dx, or I say find the derivative of y with respect to s. So long it is just sin s, single sin s, nothing more. Once you differentiate. You will get cos s. So dy ds is equal to cos s. If I give you cos s and I say differentiate, you are going to get minus sin s. So when you differentiate sin s, you get cos s. When you differentiate cos s, you get minus sin s. When you differentiate tan s, you get set square s. When you differentiate exponential s, you will get exponential s. It doesn't change. All these I've been explaining are referred to as standard derivatives or standard differentials. These are differentials or rules that you must know. But the problem is, John cannot wake up one day and say that find the derivative of s squared. No, most times jump requires application of these techniques, not the standard derivatives. Jump can say y is equals s squared plus s minus sine s. Find the y over the s. In this case, you are differentiating sum and difference. You are differentiating sum and difference. What is sum and difference? This is a standard differential, standard derivative, another standard derivative. But you are not applying addition and subtraction. In this case, you need the sum and difference techniques. The sum and difference technique states that once you have different uh, differentials separated by plus or minus, Differentiate each of them individually. No special rule or special process. So, here, dy ds will be equals. When you differentiate s squared, you get 2s. Plus, when you differentiate s, you get 1. Minus, remember this minus is already here. Then, when you differentiate sin s, you get cos s. Cos. So that is the answer. How about I say y is equals s squared minus square root of s minus cos s. So long we are dealing with sum and difference, we differentiate each of them individually and apply the addition and subtraction. For here, this becomes dy ds is equals 2s minus square root of 2. Square root of s is s raised to the power of 1 over 2. That is it. So, when you differentiate this, you use half to multiply s. You subtract half from 1. 1 over 2 minus 1 to get minus 1 over 2. So, this is what you get from here. Minus 1 over 2 s raised to the power of 1 over 2. Minus is already here. Now, when you differentiate cos s, you get minus sin s. You have one minus here, then you have the minus sin s. Minus times minus is plus. So, this is the answer for sum and difference. Now, for the next episode, we'll look at differentiation of sum and difference. Next two episodes, we look at product rule. Then, like that, like that. Now, look at higher derivatives. Let me make it clear for you. Higher derivative means you can be asked to differentiate two times or three times or four times. If y is equals s raised to the power of 4, d 
the y over the s is 4 s to the power of 3. You differentiated once. But the situation where I give you something like this y is equals s to the power of 4, find d where y over the s squared. In this case, I am saying square means differentiate here two times. It will be dy ds, which is equals 4s to the power of 3. Then second time, d square y over the s squared, which is differentiating here again to be 4 times 3, 12s squared. That is it. If I say d cube y over d s cube, it means differentiate three times. Here, you differentiated one, here twice. The third one will be over d s cube. We differentiating here again to give you 2 times 12, 24, 24. S, 2 minus 1 is 1. So 24s to the power of 1, or just 24s. This is higher derivatives. Nothing more, nothing else. Ladies and gentlemen, if you understand here, then you've gotten started. This knowledge here will enable you to understand almost everything under differentiation. Every other thing are just laws, applications, and vibes. So see you in the next episode. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, feel free to do so. Tell your friends about this. And don't forget to get the Flash Learner Jam app on Play Store, FlashLearners.com, and other platforms. Feel free to reach out to me directly if you have questions, queries, and inquiries, talk, gist, whatever. Take care of yourself.